<laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel i don't know why i'm standing but it feels a little bit more official uh welcome back to my channel it's your girl that's why i said i am here to you today i'm going to successfully vlog a day in my life i am back from covid break yeah three-time champion can i can i can i get the applause yes 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 so i'm back from covid break and um yeah i'm straight back to er duty so today we'll be doing 24 hours with me i'm already today my day should start at 7 45 uh the morning meeting and then we'll go to the er and start the 24 hour duty we've said a weather prayer Oof. that the day will be calm there will ha wouldn't have any mortalities and the morbidity will be curbed and all of that good stuff and we know that god has answered our prayers so um skip the part where i did my devotion had a shower and dressed up but here i am a product of all of all of that and then yes um today we're going in with something really comfy but this place is so cold i don't know i don't know if this still classifies as comfortable because uh it can get really cold from evening tea whatever so that means i probably have to come back and wear something more thicker or something yeah uh but yeah this is the outfit for today I'm gonna wear crocs orange crocs so forget about the color coordination for this one i am comfortable in orange crocs and that's what i'm going to wear the other option is to wear um blue sketches which i don't feel like wearing shoes i just want to be comfortable i want to wear crocs i have Crocs. yeah that's what i want to wear i'm just gonna wear it and then put my glasses on take my stethoscope and phone and then um yeah where is my n95 we're not trying to get covid the second time okay so yeah basically that's what we're going to we're going to do today and then um let's get going that you're heel to heel as the youtube channel suggests and um we are sharing my life as a medical doctor we started off when i was in medical school and helped a lot of people and how to get into graduate medicine in this part of the world in west africa and now we're sharing my life as a doctor actually in west africa and um let's see where that that leads so yeah this channel just shows my journey as a doctor and um my faith as a christian really is yet to be infused i keep saying it but i'm saying it will manifest it to be infused into the channel it will be infused at some point so yeah let's cut my day Philomena, i'm ready yeah that is my call to my housemate that i are ready let's go to work so i'll see you um at my meeting Oh, okay. She talks precisely like that. It says, um, I think it's. 10 30. Yeah. It's 10 30 p.m. and um, this is the first time I'm actually taking a break, a breather. Like, I haven't eaten the whole day and I have seen a total of about 30 cases, fresh cases, and they've not been funny of which some of them have been upper GI bleed. One manifested with 
the metamorphosis with quartz. The other one manifested with mat Frank Matokisia. Then I was just, I've just seen a case of, of what I think is a chronic liver disease. Um, hmm. Then this and the whole nine yards. Like, guys, I don't even know what kind of case I'm getting. I mean, it's an emergency for quite a lot. All this case should be coming in, and it's true. I also have seen a case of, I think, a case I think is COVID as well. Then, hmm. right sided um, pneumo, um, hemothorax, basically. I drink, I drink like one liter at a go and I have to stop because you know you can drink like one lit more than one liter in a certain and it was just coming like she came in like she was almost she was gasping then we thought the BPs were really low and as we were you know doing the research station white book kind of lad and nine years I listened to the chest I realized that no entry on the right Tony Doll, I quickly did the tobacco synthesis and it was just like literally bloody sanguinous. Um, bloody, I, I, I want to say it's bloody, but when it stayed for a while, it didn't separate into plasma and, um, you know, the um, um, whatever. So it was more. Um, Bloody serious sanguineous, whatever. We have to find out the cause. This woman is elderly, 100 year old, athletic. He said there was no trauma as well. Like, I it's really gets like some crazy ass cases, but I, I also got um, metastatic breast C on chemo with diarrhea, vomiting, and um, discharging of breast ulceration. Like, ch child, like, what case have I not gotten? Is it an open femoral fracture? Or is it the intestinal obstruction I had to refer because I said I didn't even leave? And yeah, like. Oh. It's been a crazy day. I'm not eating and I oh, just eat a bath and, you know, eat. The only thing I can actually quickly eat is. Chips. And, I mean, the year is usually crazy. My juices are done for crazy duties. If anything, I'm happy I've not done CPR because I'm actually known to have a duty where I would actually almost always do CPR at least one, if not two. So I'm very excited we've not done CPR. CPR will be successful, but there will be some resuscitation. Actually, I resuscitated actually, so I don't know if it counts, but it's not CPR. CPR was like resuscitation, hypovolemic shock. I've had two patients in hypovolemic shock actually. Unusual presentations really and just really testing my emergency medicine and surgical knowledge and skills but we are on it. Thank God. There's grace. Grace really abounds and um just retreats what one of the nurses said as when once a month like wow this case is coming, they're just like proper cases, you know, like normal, you know, easy walk through cases and then she's like no, I think it was a guy. Yeah, it was, the, it was a guy this time. Was like, God knows you're going to be here. That's why he's sending these cases on this day because you are here. He knows your ability, your capability. I'm like, there's another way to look at it. So I'm never going to be mad about it. Yeah. A bit, guys. Just reminds me of my last duty before I fell sick with diagnosed tension headaches. I'm like, tension headaches. I think this man's is true. And I'm like, okay. Not fitting the bill, and I'm 100% sure it's not hypertensive uh, emergency because the BP may be hyper. I'm 100% sure this is not hyper. Like, I was so convinced. I decided to take a history from uh, focus more on the headaches, and I just said, well, you know what? Trust the headaches, get the therapy, oxygen, and bam, this man is fine. I even saw him walking around in town a few days ago. Was it two days ago? I think it was on, it was last week when I went to make my hair. So I'm walking around in town like, God, heal to heal, my hands are blessed. Okay, so yeah, I need to stop cooking and eat because I actually saw an asthmatic coming in acute exacerbation of asthma, moderate acute illness. So I just quickly give the plan verbally and have to go back to type and reassess food stabilization and all that good stuff. <laughs> Tired, I need to go. I'll see you. 24 hours is not over. Look at what we're doing, just 10 30. Let's see.
It's 2.27 p.m. I just finished from the OPD and I just finished from the OPD and I just literally packed the car at home. I'm freaking tired. So technically I did 24 hours, 8 to 8. Then I did 8 to 2 p.m. I don't know. Go figure. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. So six more hours. I've just done 30 hours. Not funny. I'm tired, but we move. Look at the scenery. It's so cute. Let's see if we can. Oh, look at that. It gets into focus. It's so cute, but let's focus on me, please. Thank you. I like the attention. So, yeah, this is where we're going to wrap up the 24 hour duty and um, we'll call it a day. It's been nice taking you guys around with me. Unfortunately, you can't really show videos of patients and the ward and everything because you have to respect their privacy. But yeah, uh, that's 24 hours in, the, in a day in my life as a pediatric house officer in Ghana. And I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video again. This is me carrying you around for 24 hours, keeping you in mind, shooting content. Like the video, subscribe, share, and subscribe, and let your friends subscribe as well. Oh, let me just give a shout out to my church, the Overflow Worship Center. Oh, good. Let's focus on the Overflow Worship Center. We have five years. We're five years. So you can join us on Tuesday and Fridays for our early morning prayers. It's usually live on Facebook, and you can also join every sunday and wednesday for midweek services and other special services that will be live on facebook sometimes we go live on youtube which i kind of prefer the youtube live it's sort of network is better for that here for me over facebook so yeah that will be it you can tell i'm tired eh? you can tell the tiredness cannot be hidden anymore it's so glaring i'm so hungry and i don't even know how to fix myself something to eat i probably will sleep first I sleep first before even fixing anything to eat. I'm super tired, but I thank God for a very successful duty. No mortality. It means almost normal for me not to have mortality, but you can't take it for granted because I should like take it for granted. So yeah, I'm so grateful to God. No mortality. Everyone survived. Really bad, bad cases, but they survived. Doing way, 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 way better. And um. Yeah, it's fulfilling to hear. Oh, that, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Not the ingenuine ones, like the genuine ones, the ones that I thought I would die kind of thank you, but I'm alive. These thank yous are so heartwarming, and I'm so grateful to God for that. So, yeah, let's end the vlog here and stop talking too much. Bye.